Okay, we're going to talk about autophagy today. Autophagy is one of the biggest things that dry fasting kicks into high gear. Um, a lot of people have this vague term, oh, autophagy, go to autophagy. Well, there's specific things that happen during the autophagic response on dry fasting. Uh, once you get through the uh, couple of days of burning off all the sugars, it turns off an enzyme called PKA, which is essential for digesting food, pancreatic function, but it also keeps your stem cells asleep. So day three, like I said in the last video, boom, your stem cells turn on. That's a whole different thing. Um, that's sort of macrocellular restoration. Um, autophagy is cellular organelle restoration. What does that mean? Well, inside the cell, there's mitochondria, there's lysosomes, there's nucleus, there's endoplasmic reticulum, there's uh, all these different parts of the cell that have to function while you're eating and while you're processing food and stuff. But when you stop doing that, it goes into repair mode. You can get new lysosomes. Uh, the endoplasmic reticulum um, makes these uh, little spheres that are filled up with acids that are put in, in the cell that eventually have these receptor sites on it that parts of the cell can drag these things into the lysosomes be dissolved back into amino acids. All these broken and folded proteins and all this stuff, that this junk that builds up in the cells. The stuff that makes cells go senescent. So <laughs> dry fasting prevents senescence because dry fasting allows the cells to repair the stuff inside the cells, all these different parts and organisms, or organelles rather. Now that can't happen during sleep. It takes days to start replacing mitochondria, for instance. Uh, so you have to go into a dry fast to have the benefit of this stuff because it's just not going to happen at night. It's just not long enough. Um, the other thing that happens when you do this is the cell has three different types of autophagy. There's macroautophagy, microautophagy, and chaperone-mediated autophagy, which happens inside the cell. Bacteria gets captured on the outside of a cell, for instance. It's encapsulated right into the cell, dragged to a lysosome, and degraded. Um, that's really, really active during dry fasting. Microtophagy, very similar. Small things are encapsulated, taken to the lysosomes, and degraded. Chaperone-mediated autophagy is very interesting because it uses a certain type of protein to drag it over to the, the ubiquitone proteasome. It's like a wood chipper. You can't throw these big proteins into the lysosomes. So they're thrown through this grinding machine, basically a molecular grinding machine that grinds these proteins down, and then they're shuffled off to be degraded back into amino acids. The amino acids are used to create new cells, new parts of cells make new proteins, um, hence the Phoenix Protocol. From the ashes of the Phoenix is reborn the new Phoenix. These amino acids that are dissolved in a lysosomes are the ashes that rebuild new cells. During this time, you're able to move all this stuff out into the lymphatic system uh, and out into the bowel to eliminate, and, which is the orange goo at the end of the dry fast. All this stuff is dumped out into your system, all those toxins, broken cells, senescent cells, all this stuff that you're removing, because what happens during autophagy is very, very specific. It does not attack healthy cells providing life force to the body. It attacks damaged cells, weak cells, um, broken proteins, all this stuff that is really hard to digest and really hard to get rid of, like the metabolites of tryptophan and tyrosine, essential for your, for your biological health, but they end up with these uh, byproducts that mimic CoQ10. CoQ10 is needed to provide electrons for the mitochondria and all the other stuff to, you know, do free radical uh, neutralization. So you end up with the inability to actually have real CoQ10 because this stuff that mimics it doesn't behave like it. So you've got to get rid of that too, and it does that very effectively. Autophagy is one of these things that everybody talks about, but people very rarely describe it. It's really described really well in my book, The Phoenix Protocol. And the thing about autophagy and making new mitochondria, it's essential for making new muscles because you need energy to make muscle. So if you look in Neogenesis, she'll talk about how to build muscle and how to lift weights to stimulate the mechanisms to build muscle. But mitochondria power it all. The more mitochondria, the more energy. I'll get into weight and weight uh, management in another video, but essentially the basic line is this. You don't need to lose weight, you need to build muscle because muscle burns sugar. You know, sugars are stored as fat. That's why you get fat. Um, fat doesn't burn sugar. It just stores it. So autophagy is probably the biggest deal with dry fasting because it restores your microcellular environment, the stuff inside the cells. You have to do this because it's your cells that keep you alive. All you are is about 93 trillion cells. 
very organized, very specific in the genetics. The genetics are the same in every cell, but some genetic patterns are suppressed, some are expressed, some become an eye cell, some become a, a liver cell, and you need to keep that straight inside the cells. And the way to do that is to clean them out, get rid of the bad cells, get all these broken proteins out, and just do seven day dry fast. The good thing about this is that on day three, you're in deep autophagy, so you're doing a lot of repair. So you don't have to go seven days all the time. I don't suggest doing that all the time, maybe once or twice a year, once is my preferred number. Um, but you can do short dry fast, two, three day dry fasts. And when your body recognizes you're going in here, you'll go into ketosis really fast. So maybe 48 hours, maybe even less. I know my partner gets into it in like 36 hours. So, you know, and, but once you're down there, you're fixing cells, you're getting rid of toxins, you know this stuff, and you get these great benefits from short dry fasts. I have a video about it on the Phoenix Protocol YouTube channel. And um, I think you really should consider this because this is the way to clean yourself out. This is the way to get brand new cell parts. This is the way to keep your cells operating optimally so you can live a long, healthy life. And that's the key here. That's all I'm trying to do is show you these tools. Only you can do it. Only you can have the bravery to do it. And quite frankly, once you've done it, it's really simple. So try some dry fasting and I'll be back tomorrow.